I, I'm here today to honour my beautiful daughter, Lydia, who took her own life on the 11th of June, 2013, when she was only 19 and under the care of NSFT. After her death, we fought with the Trust to try and ensure that the pain and suffering she'd endured while under their care couldn't happen to anybody else. They assured us that they'd learnt from their mistakes, but clearly they hadn't. Lydia um, had so much to give and she was so young and her loss means more than words or anything could ever possibly say. I'll hand you over to my daughter, Rosie. Thank you. When we lost Lydia, it felt like the whole world had ended and the whole universe had imploded. It was the most massive, incomprehensible, excruciatingly painful thing to ever happen and it has destroyed our lives in so many ways. The worst thing of all though is knowing the pain, suffering and desperation that Lydia was in and had lived in for so long and that she had been let down so very, very badly by the services we all had no choice but to rely on. But Lydia was just one person and we are just one small family. This life-changing, universe-imploding event was going on, but we're just one statistic of so many. What I cannot wrap my head around is that there are just so many more people who have suffered and are suffering, like Lydia did, and so many more families whose worlds have fallen apart. When you read the statistics and look at the graphs, it's easy to become desensitised, even for us. Just trying to comprehend the fact that behind every single individual statistic is a whole life, a whole person and a family who is suffering just so much is just mind-blowing to me and more heartbreaking than I can express in words. In the nearly four years since Lydia died, hundreds and hundreds of families have had to start down this horrendous journey that we will all be on for the rest of our lives and I can't bear the thought of anyone else going through it. We were fortunate enough in our individual complaint and in investigations with the Trust to gain a full admission of responsibility for Lydia's death and an apology, but I know that so many people have not got the same. What the Trust promised us four years ago, however, was change, and it's beyond sickening that since then things have deteriorated further and further. So today we will not just be marching to remember all of those who have suffered and who have lost their lives, and the families that love them and suffer too, we're marching to fight for the service users still under NSFT's care, to show our love and support for them, to fight for change for them and for the frontline staff working within an impossible situation of cuts and in the hope that in one day the change we were promised will come. Thank you.